Hello, and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2021. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe. Today we're going to be reading Exodus 25 through 26 and Matthew 20, 17 through 34. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation so that the reading of your word will be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Offerings for the Tabernacle Exodus 25 The Lord said to Moses, Tell the Israelites to bring me an offering. You are to receive the offerings for me from everyone whose heart prompts them to give. These are the offerings you are to receive from them, gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet yarn for fine linen, goat hair, ram skin dyed red, and another type of durable leather, acia wood, olive oil for the light, spices for the anointing oil, and for the fragrant incense. The end onyx stones, and other gems to be mounted on the ephod and breastpiece. Then have them make a sanctuary for me, and I will dwell among them. Make this tabernacle and all its furnishings exactly like the pattern I will show you. The Ark Have them make an ark of acia wood, two and a half cubits long, and a cubit and a half wide and a cubic and a half high. Overlay it with pure gold, both inside and out, and make a gold molding around it. Cast four gold rings for it, and fasten them to its four feet, with two rings on one side and two rings on the other. Then make poles of acia wood and overlay them with gold. Insert the poles into the rings on the sides of the ark to carry it. The poles are to remain in the rings of this ark. They are not to be removed. Then put in the ark the tablets of the covenant law, which I will give you. Make an anointment cover of make an atonement cover of pure gold two and a half cubits long and a cubic and a half wide and make two cherubim out of hammered gold at the ends of the cover make one cherubim on one end and the second cherubim on the other make the cherubim of one piece with the cover at the two ends the cherubim are to have their wings spread upward, overshadowing the cover with them. The cherubim are to have their, uh, are to face each other, looking toward the cover. Place the cover up on top of the ark, and put in the ark the tablets of the covenant law that I will give you. There above the cover, between the two cherubim that are over the Ark of the Covenant Law, I will meet with you and give you all my commands for the Israelites. The Table Make a table of Asia wood, two cubits long and a cubic wide and a cubic and a half high. Overlay it with pure gold and make a gold molding around it. Also make around it a rim, a hand breadth wide, and put a gold molding on the rim. Make four gold rings for the table and fasten them to the four corners where the four legs are. The rings are to be close to the rim to hold the poles used in carrying the table. Make the poles of acia wood Overlay them with gold and carry the table with them and make its plates and dishes of pure gold as well as its pitchers and bowls for the pouring out of offerings. Put the bread of the presence on this table to be before me at all times. 
the lampstand. Make your lampstand of pure gold. Hammer out its base and shaft and make its flower-like cups, buds, and blossoms of one piece with them. Six branches are to be extended from the sides of the lampstand, three on one side and three on the other. Three cups shaped like almond flowers with buds and blossoms are to be on one branch, three on the next branch, and the same for all six branches extending from the lampstand. And on the lampstand there are to be four cups shaped like almond flowers with buds and blossoms. One bud shall be under the first pair of branches extending from the lampstand, a second bud under the second pair, and a third bud under the third pair, six branches in all. The buds are to branches. The buds and the branches shall all be of one piece with the lampstand hammered out of pure gold. Then make its seven lamps and set them up on it so that they light the space in front of it. Its wick trimmers and trays are to be of pure gold. A talent of pure gold is to be used for the lampstand and all these accessories. See that you make them according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. The Tabernacle Exodus 26 Make the tabernacle with ten curtains of finely twisted linen and blue, purple, and scarlet yarn. With cherubim woven into them by a silked by a skilled worker, all the curtains are to be the same size, 28 cubits long and 4 cubits wide. Join five of the curtains together and do the same with the other five. Make loops of blue material along the edge of the end curtains in one set and do the same with the end curtain at the other set. Make 50 loops on one curtain and 50 loops on the end curtains of the other set with the loops opposite each other. Then make 50 gold clasps and use them to fasten the curtains together so that the tabernacle is a unit. Make certain, make curtains of gold hair for the tent over the tabernacle, 11 all together. All 11 curtains are to be the same size, 30 cubits long and 4 cubits wide. Join five of the curtains together into one set and the other six into another set. Fold the six curtains double at the front of the tent. Make 50 loops along the edge of the end curtain in one set and also along the edge of the end curtain in the other set. Then make 50 bronze clasps and put them in the loops to fasten the tent together as a unit. As for the additional length of the tent curtains, the half curtains that is left over is to hang down at the rear of the tabernacle. The tent curtains will be a cubit long on both sides with its left what is left will hang over the sides of the tabernacle so as to cover it. Make for the tent a covering of ram skins dyed red and over that a covering of the outer durable of the other durable leather. Make upright frames of acia wood from the tabernacle. Make upright frames of acia wood for the tabernacle. Each frame is to be 10 cubits long and a cubic and a half wide, with two projections set parallel to each other. Make all of the frames of the tabernacle in this way. 
make 20 frames for the south side of the tabernacle and make for 40 silver bases to go under them and two bases for each frame one under each projection for the other side the north side of the tabernacle make 20 frames and 40 silver basins two under each frame make six frames for the far end that is the west end of the tabernacle and make two frames for the corners at the far end at this at these two corners they must be doubled from the bottom all the way to the top and fitted into a single ring both shall be like that so there will be eight frames and sixteen silver bases two under each frame also make crossbars of Asia wood five for the frames on one side of the tabernacle and five for those on the other side and five for the frames on the west at the far end of the tabernacle the center crossbar is to extend from end to end at the middle of the frames overlay the frames with gold and make gold rings to hold the crossbars also overlay the crossbars with gold set up the tabernacle according to the plans shown you on the mountain make a curtain of blue purple and scarlet yarn and finely twisted linen with cherubim woven into it by a skilled worker hang it with gold hooks on four posts of acia wood overlaid with gold and standing on four silver bases hang the curtain from the clasps and place the Ark of the Covenant law behind the curtain. The curtain will separate the holy place from the most holy place. Put the atonement cover on the Ark of the Covenant law in the most holy place. Place the table outside the curtain on the north side of the tabernacle and put the lampstand opposite it on the south side. For the entrance to the tent, make a curtain of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and finely twist linen, the work of an embroiderer. Make gold hooks for this curtain, and five posts of acia wood overlaid with gold, and cast five bronze bases for them. Okay, that was Exodus 25 through 26. Now, we will be turning to... Matthew twenty seventeen twenty seventeen Matthew Jesus predicts his death a third time Matthew twenty seventeen Now Jesus was going up to Jerusalem on the way he took the twelve aside and said to them We are going up to Jerusalem and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and the teachers of the law, and they will condemn him to death, and will hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified. On the third day he will be raised to life. A Mother's Request Then a, the mother of Zebedee, Zebedee's son came to Jesus with her son and kneeling down asked a favor of him What is it you want he asked? She said grant that one of these two sons of mine may sit at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom You do not know what you are asking Jesus said to them Can you drink the cup I am going to drink we can they answered Jesus said to them you will indeed drink from my cup but to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant these places belong to those for whom they have been prepared by my father when the ten 
heard about this, they were indignant with the two brothers. And Jesus called them together and said, You know that the rules of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Two blind men receive sight. As Jesus and his disciples were leaving Jericho, a large crowd followed him. Two blind men were sitting by the roadside, and when they heard that Jesus was going by, they shouted, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. The crowd rebuked them and told them to be quiet. But they shouted all the louder, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. Jesus stopped and called them. What do you want me to do for you? He asked. Lord, they answered, We want our sight. Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes. Immediately they received their sight and followed him. And that was Matthew twenty seventeen through 34 which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for today. Tomorrow we will be reading Genesis 1 through 3 and Matthew 1. Father, I just thank you for your word, because without your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. So in Jesus' mighty name, I give you the praise and the worship and all the love. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Thank you, friends, for tuning into the Bible with Briscoe 2021. I am your messenger of the Word of God, and I appreciate your uh, confidence in me and your participation in the program. And always remember, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow, because, well, I'll be here, and I hope that you are too.